Yeah, look at this view. Like, look at this view. I would be gagged, okay? I would be dead ass gagged if this was my view. Y'all, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to... Wait, hold on. Not even welcome back. Welcome to a brand new LP. We are starting a new Let's Play. This is the very first episode of The Real of Del Sol Valley. I don't know. Are y'all hype? Y'all excited? I'm a little excited. I can't, like, I can't believe we're here. I have been working on this game file for probably about a month now. It's still not ready. Like, I'm gonna just keep it honest and keep it cute in the comments. Y'all know I'm gonna keep it true with y'all. It's still not fully, completely ready yet, but... Lana, where are you going? Girl. So this is Lana Locke. Y'all remember at the last, at the end of the last episode of the Power Finale, I introduced you guys to Lona Locke. And Lona is pretty much the star character of this LP. I mean, we have plenty of stars in this one, but we are going to make it more centric to her story and her storyline. So this is Lona. And I'm gonna have Lona sit down because she needs to be doing some work. So I'm gonna have her do some social media work. I'll have her do, upload a viral video. And then I'll also have her update her social media status. But yeah, Lona, sit your ass, sit your ass down. Thank you. But yeah, so this is Lona Locke and she is the executive producer for The Real of Del Sol Valley. And in this episode, I'm going to introduce you to the full cast. So this whole LP is centered around this reality TV show and pretty much the drama, the tea that Miss Lona is mustering up. So you can imagine if you think about it, Lona really, really cares about the success of this show. Like she really wants it to get good ratings. And so her whole goal is to make sure that there is nothing but consistent drama. So yeah, y'all go ahead and get ready. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like the video, drop a comment, and let's just get this popping. So what's on our agenda for today is we're going to host, we're gonna prepare and plan to host the, um, what did I call it? It's like a mixer, it's like the celebrity mixer. And at the mixer, I'm gonna introduce you guys to all the cast members. And this is also like Lona's first introduction to like getting the, the, um, the TV show rolling. But before we do all of that, let's just go through Lona's somology. She's self-assured, she's an overachiever, she's an insider, she has the knowledge trait, and she's business savvy. And in my personal opinion, this makes her perfect to be an executive producer. Like these traits alone just tells you that Lona is a badass. She's a badass, y'all. She is big body badassy. Okay all day. Um, Lona also has the people person lifestyle and she has the hero impression personality and the gesture and personality or personality. Her life aspiration is to own a really big ass house, but she technically doesn't. She doesn't even live in the hills. She lives in the valley and we'll see that later. But um, her goal is to live in a really big house. And yeah, she doesn't really, oh, okay. And she is the reality TV producer, executive producer, head producer of reality show, The Real Housewives of Del Sol Valley, which has been rebranded to The Real of Del Sol Valley. If y'all haven't seen the original uh, Real Housewives of Del Sol Valley, you'll completely understand why Lona had to rebrand the show completely. Like, listen, it was my first LP. It really wasn't that good. Like, I was just be honest, it wasn't that good. And Lona knows that. She knows, like, we didn't do our big one. So Lona's going to go to the spa, I guess. But while she does that, I'm going to show y'all the venue really quick. Because it is a popping venue that Lona owns. So she's the owner of this venue. It's called LL's, um, short for Lona Lock. And it's a, it doubles as a um, music studio, a spa or I guess it triples, music studio, spa, and um, a recording studio. If we go through the front door, which this is the front door, and it's, this is where the spa is. This is the entrance to the spa. When you come in, you have like this water wall, really cute ass water wall. To the left is pretty much all the gym stuff, like a pool, and then there, let's see. Then there's like some workout equipment here and everything it's really like not that much workout equipment but technically you can't have a spa without some workout equipment so and then if you come in through these doors 
this side is a look like the lounge area where people can socialize. There is a bar here, so you can make drinks and stuff, listen to music and hang out. There's a drink t- drink tray right here. And I'm imagining like there will have to host a lot of mixers with this series. And so this will be a perfect venue for that. And then if we go down this hallway, there is a yoga studio in here. There goes Judith Ward. Oh, there goes Lona. She's going to do yoga. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and then we'll just come we'll back out of here real quick. Down the other side of the hallway is where the locker rooms are. So left where the women go, right where the men go. Yeah, I know what a locker room looks like. I don't got to show y'all that. And then if we page up. So when we page up and we come to the second level, there is the stairwells here. And then you'll see there's the celebrity entrance because the second level of the spa is a recording studio. So there are literally recording areas in here like you can make songs and you know release your mixtape i don't know y'all, y'all about to drop a mixtape y'all want to drop a mixtape let's do it let's collab there's an office here this is just like a solo office for whoever's working in this building and then if you come in here there's this is the spot area so people can get like their nails done or a massage who's this is this emory crying like she is screaming girl okay It don't have to be that crucial. (laughs) And then there's another additional um, recording studio in here with a drink tray. Ooh, they have drinks on deck. Gang. Okay. So that's the like left side of the recording studio, or this is the actual recording studio. So then the other building, which is here, I'm going to give y'all a tour of this side because this is pretty much where a lot of the recording is going to happen. And I honestly haven't really figured out how to keep people out of here yet because you can't lock the doors on a public venue. But anyway, so this is the door to this side. And Lona's office is here. So y'all know this is where we met Lona originally. To the right is where like all of her staff will be working. And I will introduce you guys to the staff later in this episode or probably like in a couple episodes. I don't know if we're going to have time in this episode, but I will be introducing, introducing you guys to the staff. And this is where they will host their staff meetings. So when they have big meetings, it'll happen here. Um, You know, conference, conference style, if that makes sense. And the last part of this recording studio is the actual recording studio. So there's actually cameras and um, recorders and, you know, all of that good stuff, backdrops and all of that stuff. This is where they'll be recording their um, confessionals, quote unquote, their one-on-one confessionals. So yeah, that's the Lona. Y'all, Lona is enraged. Girl, see, this is what happens to your Sims when you don't watch them. She got a piece so bad. Sis, okay, let's see what's wrong with Lona. So she's aggravated from an <laughs> aggravating conversation She's irritated from her premenstrual syndrome. She has to pee. She has festering bitterness from somebody close by, a languishing skills from being an overachiever, and she is full of empathy. So she would be happy otherwise, but she's not right now. I don't know who she doesn't like. We're about to look in a second, but let's help her pee real quick because that sounds so painful. Look, it's like take angry poop, take angry poop, take angry. <laughs> All right, Lona, do what you got to do, sis. Like, I'm not watching you do that. But um, while she does that, I'm going to look and see what relationships she's annoyed by. Oh, is this a paparazzi? How do you say her name? Megumi? Me- Megumi? That's a horrible name. I don't know how to say this name. Meg. She has a festering grudge. <laughs> Lona has a festering grudge with Meg. And Meg um, feels like Lona is fun to be around. That's funny because she did not like you. Yeah, so we have quite a few people we need to like run into, but we're gonna do all of that at the mixer. So like, it's all good. Lona, girl, she is mad. Ciao, it's okay. Whatever she did, forget that shit. You know, like sometimes you gotta be a bigger person. You gotta be a bigger person, sis. Okay, I'm gonna have her try to calm down. So it is 11.43 in the morning, or 11.53 in the morning. So there's plenty of stuff that we have to do. Like I said, we're planning for a mixer and we're gonna have to get everything together. So we're gonna sit down and like make Lona actually do some work. Okay, so I did have Lona ask Cash Charles to meet her at Starbucks. And 
The only reason why I had them meet each other is because Cash Charles is plugged in, y'all. Like, y'all remember Cash, right? Ah, oh, Cash. All right, so for those of you who are new to my channel and not super familiar with all of my characters, this is Cash Charles, this guy who looks like he's about to throw up. That's Cash. And maybe he is about to throw up. I actually don't know. But I had Lona ask Cash Charles out to um, come over to Starbucks, which is like in the hill, in the valley of Delso Valley, so they can chat about the party tonight. So they're going to have this party. So Cash Charles' whole job and role is social media manager and celebrity manager. And so he knows a lot of the celebs. And so Lana is... Lona... I keep calling her Lana. Lona is basically just catching up with Cash on that topic specifically. But anyway, Lona's going to go ahead and do what she needs to do. Oh, is the TV in here? I, it is premiere day. So can she watch television? Where's the TV? I don't see it. Oh, this big ass TV. So yeah, Lona was able to talk to Cash Charles about everything they needed to do tonight. And he hooked her up with some stuff, some info, some deets. Some details on what the hell is going to go down. I'm going to just tell y'all right now. I don't exactly, exactly, exactly know what's about to happen when I bring all these sims together. But I'm not expecting it to just be a little cakewalk. So we about to see. So I'm going to go ahead and have Lana, Lona go home. Oh, it's happy hour. Oh, it says it's the happiest hour of all of the cheap. Wait, it's the happiest hour of all for the Cheapskate Sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. That's crazy. Oh, did I show y'all this venue? Let me show it to y'all. So this venue, this is a Starbucks venue. Um, I got it off the gallery, but I did do some revamps to it. And I just put it in the valley because, like, who wants to, like... Like, we can't have a celebrity reality TV show without Starbucks. Like, I just felt like that wasn't going to work. <laughs> this is the Starbucks. And it's pretty much set up like a Starbucks. Like, the counter is right there. Um, tons of table space. A whole ass TV. And there's patio space in the back. If I show y'all this, there's a back door here. And then there's, like, patio space back here. That walks you kind of, like, right out to the street so this is i mean it's really cute honestly like you get right to the street from here and like right into the neighborhood so imagine if you live like right here and your starbucks your nearest starbucks was here like imagine imagine and then i think the top level if i'm not mistaken is more seating yeah there's more seating up here the bathrooms are upstairs and there's a radio. But anyway, okay, back to Lona. Oh, look, it's Jordan. Oh my God, this is perfect. Good. And jo and of course, Jordan brought paparazzi. And like, I was gonna say, is that her bodyguard by now? Okay. <laughs> um, Let's talk to Jordan. I just wanna talk to Jordan about what we, gonna, what we got going on tonight. So I'll have a little quick combo with her. I don't know who this is, but she all in the mix. So Raylin, let's meet Raylin. Oh, and there's Barbie. Barbie, let me see. I'm gonna introduce y'all all to the housewives, but I want like as a spoiler alert. No, it's Bonnie. I believe Bonnie is the housewife. Oh my god, it's so chaotic with the paparazzi. Are they excited about Jordan? I can't tell. Look at Bonnie. She looks so good. Like, girl, eat down on us, please. So, yeah, we're all just chit-chatting, hanging out. I had to put Jordan back in the gym, y'all. Y'all know, know how Jordan get. When she don't be in the gym, that BBL go to waste. That BBL go to waste fast. Okay. So I'm going to send Lona home. It's already 6 o'clock, y'all. It's getting late. I'm going to send Jordan. Not Jordan. I'm going to send Lona home. Um, oh, we got first impressions with Raylin. Let's see. Lona thinks Raylin is ego egocentric. And Raylin thinks that Lona is fun to be around and strong-minded. Oh, Lona gets really good feedback. So the Starbucks is here, y'all. And Lona lives right across the street. She lives over here. Okay, so we are at Lona's house. And I will do a quick house tour 
just so that y'all are familiar, Lona does drive a Tessie. She drives a Tesla. I don't know which one this is. The Y, maybe? Oh, X. is a Model X. But it's a cute Tesla, not gonna lie. And I'm gonna do a quick house tour. Her house is not that big, so we'll just we'll just get into it real quick. Front door immediately walks you into the living room. There's a living room situation. She, monochrome designed. Y'all know how I do. I love good monochrome, but it's like brown scale, neutral scale. Um, to the right will be the kitchen. There's a guest bathroom here. It's small, quaint, and then. This is her kitchen. Let me put the roof up. She has the skylight roof. So it's actually really bright in here. Like all this white appliance, but also skylight. Bar, full table. I think it's an eight-seater. She has cookbooks and like all of her other good stuff. Her appliances. Everything is white or titanium. Coffee maker, blender. I changed the shelving in this house. If you guys are familiar with this channel, you know you'll you'll recognize this house. And I changed, I revamped this whole kitchen situation. Um, and then if we go upstairs, which we are about to, this is like underneath the stairs, like a little cove. And then above the stairs, whenever we go up here, is the bedroom. And it's nothing in here. It's so bare. I like completely redid this room, but this is her bed. And you can see it's basic as hell. And then I believe if we come around this corner, it's the door to the bathroom. And then this is the bathroom. Like I said, it's so basic. And you can see the pool from the top floor, from out the window. So her pool is here. I didn't do her patio yet, so her patio is naked. <laughs> Just a big ass pool, nothing outside. We haven't really fully finished decorating this house, but like I said, the game files ain't complete, complete, but it's mostly complete. Oh my God, it's eight o'clock, y'all. Okay, so Lona's gonna go get, go ahead and get ready and we're gonna go to the party. You can even sit in peace. Welcome to the Bailey Moon residence, which brings us right into our first housewife, which, or I guess I should say cast member who is Miss Octavia Bailey Moon. And if y'all are not familiar with The Sims and The Sims lore, Octavia Bailey Moon is married to Thorne Bailey and they come as a part of the Get Famous pack. But of course I revamped Octavia, so it is what it is. I made sure my sis had, my good sis looked like a bad bitch, okay? Like fully and period, okay? <laughs> uh, anyway, so Octavia Bailey Moon, 37, member of Cream, and she is a mom of three. She has two sons, one of which is Orange Bailey Moon, um, her middle kid, whose name I forget, and then they have a baby girl named Shannon, and she is married to the Thorn Bailey, and Thorn Bailey is a famous musician in my game file. And I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Thorne is a habitual cheater. And yeah, we'll get, in, get into that in a second. Octavia has a lot of resentment and a lot of grudge that she holds against Thorne. Her and Thorne's relationship actually isn't doing the best right now because Thorne um, has been very, one, promiscuous and infidelic and just a cheater in general. But Octavia has taken a backseat to her own writer career to support Thorne's music career. And she just feels a lot a lot of resentment toward him for that. And there goes Thorne. Speaking of, <laughs> Mr. Thorne Bailey himself. And him and Dirk are gonna have a moment. Oh, not there being trash. Let's get rid of this trash. Let's just blick it. Um, who else is coming in? Oh, great, there goes Emery. 
that's perfect. Emery is, and I have, I went back and forth, you guys, on if I wanted Emery and Maya to be a part of the cast this time, this go around. Again, if you go back and watch the first season of The Real Housewives of Dusso Valley, Emery and Maya are both cast members. But Maya is not a fan favorite. It's really Emery. And so Lona made a hard body decision to just go ahead and make Emery one of the cast members and not her twin sister, Maya, which is kind of crazy. So this is Emery Starr. She's 28. She's also a Cream member. She is, she is the more famous twin. Emery also is the girlfriend of Dirk Dreamer, who is also at this party and is... Um, well-known and, and is a well-known influencer in Del Sol Valley. But um, long story short, Emery has a fling side relationship with Chris Dyson. And y'all, if y'all remember the university days, that's a whole nother game foul in a whole nother world. But technically, Emery still has connection to him. Long story, long, long story. But this is Miss Emery. And y'all can already see the drama and the tea that's going to steep with that one. And I think, oh, there goes um, Dirk right there. She She's the girlfriend of Dirk Dreamer. Oh, there's perfect. So this is Bonnie. And Bonnie is super, super new to my game foul. Bonnie is 38. She's currently not a part of any club, but I... I'm going to I'm going to suspect that that changes throughout the series. She'll eventually be a part of a club. She is the mother of a famous teen um, celeb. And she pretty much got her notoriety through her daughter, who was Barbie. Um, that's the whole reason why Lona even knows about Bonnie at all. Bonnie is an Internet influencer girl mom with her whole brand wrapped up in her daughter. Um, Bonnie's estranged husband is also in this game and she is secretly in competition. Actually, not even secretly. She is full time in competition with Simone, who is another girl mom and her daughter, Savannah. Not, is this, oh, this is Amelia. No, this is Cash. It's not Cash Charles in the, boy, that's Tiffany. Tiffany is not a part of the cast, um, but she does play a role in this game. So we will, oh. Perfect. Okay, this is what I was looking for right here. Let me see if I can get to her. Perfect. Okay, so this is Miss Tamara. Tamara is 25 and she is the lead of the group 3LW. 3LW stands for Three Little Women. If y'all not familiar with that reference, y'all too young to be watching my, my channel. No, I'm joking. Um, Tamara is Mayor Montgomery's fiance. And again, the whole reason how she got on this show. Tamara's club, 3LW, is rivaling for the top club spot, aiming to beat Cream, which is led by Jordan Power. So you can already see kind of the drama and the tea that's going to happen with Tamara. She's really trying to get her club to the top of the ranks, but Cream is currently sitting at the top of that. So she's going to have to really fight for that. Um, and another fun fact, the mayor, Mayor Montgomery, has a mistress who is Simone. And if you remember, Simone is also the girl mom that Bonnie is beefing with. So Simone is already, and I don't think Simone got invited to this party because Simone is not famous. So she didn't get invited, but she's already kind of like stirring stuff up. All right, let's see if we got everybody else that came up in here yet. So I see Emiliano's. So I know Jordan got to be in here somewhere. Um, where is the bartender? Oh, she's over there. We need some drinks. So Tiffany and Sean Flossie. So my sim self and Tiffany are a part of, they're working with Lona. So Sean is the assistant director and um, Tiffany is the, produ the production assistant working with Sean. So that's why they're here. And actually fun fact, I split cash. Look at cash Charles, y'all. Look at cash Charles. Boy, okay, you know what? It is late. It's 11.30. I get it. That'll be me too. That would be me. Um, so this is the Thorne Bailey resident. And it was, it used to just be a single house, but Thorne needed some extra income coming into the house. So he split it into two. And the other side is a condo that's available for rent. And if you guys don't already know, my sim self lives in Mount Komorebi. And so 
eventually I'm going to have my sim self and Tiffany occupy this part of the condo. So they'll be living right next door to Thorne and Octavia soon in the future. But for right now, this is where we at. Girl, are you musty? Ma'am. No, ma'am. It's no, ma'am. That's unacceptable. Um, okay, there goes Royce. Where the heck is everybody else? There goes Maya. So remember Emery, Maya Star, who she did not make the show. And I don't know if Maya feels a way about that or not. I really can't tell. But when we go play with Emery, we're going to find out. We're going to find that out for sure. Um, Hold on, y'all. Oh, it's my sim self. Okay. Oh, she looks angry. <laughs> that looked like me. That looked like something I would wear. And it just looked like something I would do. Be angry about something. So that's my sim self. Again, assistant director of the Real of Delta Valley. Somebody come pick this baby up off the ground. DeAndre was not invited, y'all. He was not invited, nor was Tahitia at all, at all. And there goes Mayor Montgomery. He also wasn't invited. How dare he? Let's see who else is coming up. Oh, there goes Judith. Okay, so I don't got all day to wait for him to get here. So Judith Ward is also a part of this, the lineup. Again, if y'all are familiar with The Sims, y'all know who Judith Ward is. Judith Ward, 43. She's not in a club at a current moment. She's famous for being a snobby movie star. Judith still resides in Delso Valley. She won the family home in her last divorce decree from Emiliano. Emil Emiliano has moved on with his former sugar baby <laughs> and Judith hates it. <laughs> and y'all, y'all, his former sugar baby is none other than Miss Jordan Power. Hey, Jordan, my girl, Jordan Power, 29, the lead of Cream, Delso Valley's very own. We've seen Jordan grow from fashion assistant to global superstar. After a year of dating a sugar daddy, she got engaged to him. Emiliano Ward, the ex-husband of Judith Ward, moved Jordan from the valley to the hills with her with his fruitful corporate lawyer salary. So Jordan lives in the hills of Delso Valley now. She used to live in the valley. The house that um, uh, Lona lives in right now, that used to be Jordan's old house. And that's a whole long story of how she got that house because she used to not have none of that, none of that, okay? And if y'all don't have that background, please go back and watch the Power series. It is all covered in there, trust me. The, the racks to riches story is there, okay? But my girl lives in the hills now and she is the fiance of Emiliano Ward, ex-wife of Judith Ward. Jordan is not shy to cosmetic surgery given that she has had two BBLs, lipo 360 and breast augmentation. And honestly, I had to put my girl back in the gym again because she was getting soggy again. Okay, like again, y'all, like again. But anyway, that is Jordan and they're all walking up to the party. So I'm going to just go ahead and let them do what they're doing. It's a little dry up in here. I wish Octavia was sending their kids to bed. Oh, and that's Stacy, y'all. Stacy is not a part of the show, but she is. Um, Stacy is the nail tech. So she does all these girls nails, like all these nails. If you see anybody with a fresh set, Stacy did it straight up. Like no BS, no cap. But look at the party rocking. Somebody need to wake up cash. <laughs> he is asleep. Oh, they're trying to get in. Oh, I see. I guess. Let's get some drinks. So Emiliano is talking to Tiffany. He's mad about something. I don't know what he's mad about, but we need to socialize with people. Oh, we got cake. Yeah, look at this view. Like, look at this view. I would be gagged, okay? I would be dead ass gagged if this was my view. Like, no lie. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. Would not. But everybody looks like they're having a good time. Um, wait, what's wrong? What happened? Hold up. She feels pukey? Okay. Queasy from being drunk. Oh, you had one glass of wine, Lona. Look, even Cash Charles looks sick. Is it the cake? Oh my God, look at everybody in here mixing and mingling. I'm gonna try my hardest not to just be pausing all the time, but sometimes you gotta pause, you know what I'm saying? Lona, you gotta come talk to the people. Okay, we're gonna say what's up to Royce. Let's just do a cheerful introduction with him and then let's just talk to Tamara too. Look at Sean. I would, 
I know I didn't put my sim self in this outfit. She put herself in this outfit. Why she look like she finna fight Octavia though? Ooh, Lona is sick, y'all. We're gonna make her throw up. She gonna have to throw up. And Cash got back in the hot tub and went to sleep. <laughs> he dead ass tired. Let's share excitement about, let's do Emery. Okay, so Lona is dazed from Bubbly Buzz, Cocktail of Chaos, False Heroics from Liquid Courage, Sleepless Shadow, she's sleepy too. Oh, did it start raining? Yo, no, not the rain fucking up my party. Oh my God, no. Not the first event again, jacked up. Look, oh my God, everybody's going to sleep. Okay, people are tired. It is 2.30 in the morning, okay. Okay, 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 fine. We gonna have to dead this. Oh no, we're gonna nap. <laughs> oh my God, no, everybody sleep. Oh my God, Octavia lay down, went to sleep. <laughs> Everybody's so tired. It is three o'clock in the morning. I gotta finish this party though. I can't, I can't like not finish it. It is the day after the house party that Lona hosted at Thorne Bailey and Octavia Bailey Moon's mansion up in the hills. And yeah, like <laughs> it was a it was a pretty long night. Um, I'm not gonna say I thought it was super successful personally, like I, you know, I'm on the fence about how that went, but we're going to just like breeze through this Friday with Miss Lona. So right now she's starving. She needs to eat. So we're going to like make some breakfast. She's going to handle some business, make some phone calls and stuff. And um, yeah, we'll just see what kind of gameplay we get. So really quick, I'll read her buffs. She uh, is feeling dazed from bubbly bubbly buzz from the room seems to spin just a tad bit from drinking Cocktails of Chaos, Lona is a whirlwind of emotions and actions from laughter to the queasiness to clumsiness. Miss Lona also feels false heroics from Liquid Courage. Um, oh, she's having, oh, she, her pad's leaking. Great. It's probably because she just woke up and she needs to like handle that. If you know, you know. Um, she's hungry. Oh, I don't know if y'all missed this, but last night, Miss Lona peed herself while she was trying to get down that hill. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, she had an excellent holiday, which is good. And then she has some other buffs. So I'm going to go ahead and like have her handle her business. Because I can't have my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the most trifling toilet I have ever... Y'all. What? Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to go to the bathroom downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that is trifling. Oh my goodness. All right, let's have her do that. And then I'm gonna have Miss Lona um, make some breakfast because she is starving. So let's just make breakfast. Let's see. L oh, it's lunchtime. Sorry, because we woke up afternoon. So let's just make, um, let's just make a garden salad for lunch. That's real classic Sims. Let's get that pop in. And yeah. And then, like I said, we're going to handle some work. Um, obviously, Lona has to, it's Friday, so she's supposed to be in the office. And as you can see, she's not in the office. She's hung over at the house. So once she gets her food, I'm going to have her go over to the office. Oh, she is drunk. The tipsiness is killing me. The aggression with the... Do we got to be that aggressive, Miss Lona? Do we really have to be? I just feel like I understand that you feel in a way this morning, but you don't got to be slamming the refrigerator like that. What the refrigerator do to you? Huh? What these tomatoes do to you? Huh? Okay. All right. All right, salad. Okay. Yeah, so last night, I just really don't feel like it was a super success. I mean, outside of the fact that Lona got all of the castmates together, it, that was it. That's all we gave. Like, I just feel like poor planning. Like, what do y'all think? I think it was poor planning. I, and also, I don't necessarily know if Lona is the right person to throw the party. Like, she's new to the town. Ew. Girl. Uh, not her with her eyes on me. Tupac t-shirt on, though. That's kind of fire. But anyway, I'm just not exactly sure if she was the right person to be throwing or hosting this party. So... We might have to run it back and get another one of the housewives to throw a better party, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll get her into the... Lona, the the earwax is a little unnecessary. Make this goddamn salad. 
She's really, you gonna piss me off. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. Good girl. Finally. So hopefully once we get our eat on, life will get a little bit better. That salad don't look good though. Like <laughs> it ain't looking so good. Okay, so, oh, waste of time from being over tip. Yeah, you need to get to the office. It's 2.25. Oh, and look, are you tired again? Wow, we're gonna make a coffee too. I'll make her make a coffee. Great. And you need to hire a maid because that toilet upstairs, ma'am, ooh. I'm sorry, but that's probably the most trifling thing I have seen in a very long time extremely fucking trifling like hello all right so i'm gonna get some coffee and then i'm gonna have lona put on some clothes and we're gonna go to the office let's see what's on our notification wall though like have we missed anything no not really Not too much has really happened, notification-wise. Can you just make this coffee, please? She got a headache, everything. <laughs> and that's what you get for getting fucked up. Like, who told you to get drunk? But you know what? Honestly, I feel like Lona had, like, two glasses of wine. Let me find out Miss Locke is a lightweight. Girl, this going to be a rough season for you. This going to be a rough season for you. I'm going to just tell you now. You're going to be drinking a lot with me. You might want to get used to it. But maybe we have to, like, make her chill a little bit because she cannot handle a long night, like, at all. I mean, it is 3 o'clock on Friday, and she is just now getting her coffee. Like, ma'am. And look, and then she, she are you going to lay down? Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to have her. Also, I'm going to just drop a text. I'm going to send a text to, um, I'll send a text to Cash Charles about the party. Um, excuse me? What's this bubble? What's that little bubble about? What do you mean? Are you thinking about babies? No, huh. ma'am. No, ma'am. You better not be. Oh, good. The maid came. Good. Get that trifling ass. Ooh. Is she cramping? Okay, so... No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's just change your clothes, and I'm going to send you to the office. You can get on your computer at the office. So, I'll just put her in her everyday outfit. Is it raining? Oh my God, child, of course it's raining in Del Sol Valley, of course. All right, let's just go, let's go, it's time. Okay, so we are at the studio and Ms. Lona obviously is still very hungover. It's raining in Del Sol Valley. Um, it's Friday night, so I can only imagine she's gonna do a little bit of work today. So I'm gonna have her just come over here and like do some stuff on social media really quick um and then i'm gonna have her work on a script for um let's just have her i'll have her practice writing because her her writing skill isn't that good so we'll just have her kind of like work on her writing even though she should be like a phenomenal writer at this point um she just doesn't, doesn't have that skill yet and we'll just ha we'll have to work on that so i'll have her do that and then i'm gonna go ahead and also create i want to make the group of people who um come into work here, which will essentially be like the executive producer, the director, you know, the cameraman, um, the media managers, people like that. But we haven't built all those relationships just yet. So I'm going to do some of that later this episode. And I'm probably going to have my sim self do a lot of it because my sim self knows a lot of people already. Um, plus we got to do a lot of work with my sim self. So anyway, Miss Lona is going to work for the rest of the afternoon, she's probably going to pull an all-nighter. She'll probably be here until like midnight tonight as she got to work super late, as y'all can see. Okay, y'all. So I am over at my sim self, Sean Flossie and Tiffany, Brianne Tiffany, um, house. Hold on. Let me get this music off. Y'all know how the music go. Let me turn that off. Girl, you're going to ruin my episode. Okay. So, um... 
if you are familiar with this channel, you know exactly who these sims are. If you are not familiar with this channel, you about to learn real fast, okay? So I have not done an updated episode for Sean, oh, for Sean and Mount Komarebi in a while, like in a few months. Um, a, a lot has happened, you know? Wait, is it raining here too? Oh no, it's not. It's just the, their waterfall. Um, a lot has happened for my sim self and her cousin. They have a cat now, y'all. And let me tell y'all, I don't know how the hell they got a cat. I have no idea. Like, no idea. What? What is this? What happened? No pet is truly fearless. Even so Sophie, each pet has its own unique fears. Okay, I don't know. I just, like, y'all, I don't even know this cat, child. Like, <laughs> This cat got a hoodie, y'all. Baby, Brian, take care of the cat, okay? Like, like, oh, you don't even know the cat. Did we adopt the cat? We don't know. <laughs> I'm so stuck. So I have a big decision I need to make for Sean. So Sean is executive producer for the Rail of Dustle Valley. And Lona gave her, extended her the offer for this position. She wants her to pretty much take on this role but Sean lives in Malcolm Arebi y'all and like the way that I think about this is basically Malcolm Arebi is not even at all close to like by any means whatsoever to Delso Valley like Malcolm Arebi is the mountains okay like imagine it's like Malcolm Arebi is like Colorado you know, like in the U.S., like Colorado and like Delta Valley is like L.A. in California. OK, so they're not close to each other at all, like at fucking all. So I am going to have Sean get a spot in Delta Valley so that she is close to um, her job, her new job. But my problem and my challenge with that is that we love our Mount Komarebi house. Like y'all, like we have a beautiful Mount Komarebi home. I'm still doing Sean and Mount Komarebi. Like I have not finished that series. So like, we can't just like get rid of our mountain house. So I'm going to split this household up. I'm going to have Sean and Tiffany kind of like part their ways and Sean will go to, and I think that'll give Tiffany time to bond with her cat. And I'm going to say that this is Tiffany's cat because I know damn well my sim self didn't get no cat. All right, I just know that. So we're gonna go ahead and move them out. Um, for more context, Sean and Tiffany are like, oh, what are you embarrassed about? Oh, shoes indoor. Oh, look at this cute ass picture of Sean and Dirk. This is such an OG photo. Oh my God, this is crazy. Wow, okay. Um, and Dirk, I think Dirk moved to Delso Valley too. So if we move, we'll see him a lot. But we have tons of business businesses that we're managing. So one of which is Tomarang. We have a Tomarang unit, and um, we have two burger bars. We have Boss Baby Burger Bar that is in Newcrest, and then we have the University Boss Baby Burger Bar, which is in um, Brightchester. And that's just basically how we've been making a lot of our money. Um, as you can see, well, Sean doesn't technically have a job. So yeah. And then Tiffany also, I don't think she has a job. Yeah. So that's how they make their money. That's what they do. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's split household. Um, and if you are familiar with my channel, like this is not the first time Sean and Tiffany have done this where they've kind of split to like do their own personal ventures. This is literally like the second or third time we've done this on this channel. So it's not like out of the norm for these two. Like they are basically technically BFFs um, and relatives, but they do all of their business ventures together. They support each other, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, okay, so we're gonna give my sim self, let's just give my sim self like 50K and leave Tiffany with the rest. That way she can take care and manage the house and um, Sean can go off and do what she's gonna do. So we're gonna go to Del Sol Valley because everybody needs to live in Del Sol Valley for this game foul, y'all. Like this time it's different. Um, and if you remember, I told you that Thorne wanted to make 
a um, rental property to make some additional income for his household. So he split his mansion into two and the other side of his house is condo style. And so we're going to rent that. So the unit rating is four out of five. Um, the furniture is at 23K. The lease is seven days for $950 per day. So we're going to move here. And I hope... I hope, look, okay, Sean, get face then, girl, get face. I hope uh, Ms. Lona is paying my sim stuff well because how are we going to afford to live in these hills? I don't know. We're, we're just mountain girls at heart. No, I'm just, I'm joking. Sean, Sean, is, Sean has been around, all around the world. So she should know what's going on. Okay, great. So y'all should be familiar with this property. We were just here last night. This is the Bailey Moon Residence up in the hills um, and Octavia and Thorne own the, the condo on the left. On the right side is the one that Sean is renting. And so I'll show you, I'll do a quick little walkthrough. It's not furnished yet, but it is, um, we can walk through it basically. So, so I'll just show y'all real quick. So when you walk in, you'll see that the front door is here. To the left is the stairwell, which goes up to the second floor. And to the right, you like immediately walk into the kitchen so here's the kitchen space. It's really quaint. It's kind of small. Um, gray, like white, brown, neutral scale. Really cute kitchen. It's a wraparound. So if you go out through this way, you'll walk into the living room. Honestly, this living room is phenomenal. I mean, it's not furnished yet, but look at the view. They're going to be sharing a pool. So as you can see, the pool is right there. So they'll always have access to the pool and the back door is there. Not a lot to see on the first floor, but, you know, honestly, like a stunning, stunning first level, if you ask me. Nothing to the left, or I mean, nothing to the right when you come in. And then when you go up these stairs, so we go up the stairs, we'll be here on this side. And this is pretty much just like a little, I don't know, corner space. And then um, this big old window where you can see the front of the house. And this is where their like gym area is. It only has a treadmill here, but that's good because Sean needs to work out. Cardio is fine. Big old mirror. And then we have these double doors, which takes you into the bedroom. And I kind of already decorated the bedroom a little bit because I know Sean was going to need somewhere to sleep. So there's a bed here. Um, there's like a little sitting space over here, a little vanity situation. And then the closet is behind the bed. It's just, it's blank because we haven't put anything in there. Another big mirror, it's a wraparound. And then the bathroom is here. So you go in, the bathroom is there. Big old tub, the toilet's in the corner right here. As you can see, I was missing some walls right there. Um, and then there's a shower here. And that's pretty much the condo. I mean, it's legit a little condo. Oh, and then there's a patio, which like, look at this view, jeez. Oh my God, like what? Talk about bend me over the balcony, okay? Like, Cheeks is getting clizzied up here. Do you feel me? We just gotta get Sean a boo thing so she can... Oh wait, she has one, she has one. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's my, sim my sim self does have a boo thing. So anyway, um, this is our new house. This is our new home. So Sean is gonna go to work um, and meet up with Lona tonight. Because tonight we have quite a few things we need to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Okay, so Sean is coming into the office. Um, her and Lona are going to have a quick conversation. Um, mostly, I'm imagining mostly about last night. And then kind of like what we need to do for next week. So they're just going to have a little bit of a powwow. Again, Sean is the assistant director. And Lona is the executive producer. So we're just going to just casually talk. Um, Sean is responsible for the protect production crew. So I'm going to also add Lona to the production crew as well um, so that she's there. And then we need to add Cash Charles. So I'm going to go over to see or invite Cash Charles out so I can get him to, to do that as well. And Sean is going to have to hire a couple of other Sims that will help run the show. So Monday is going to be a big day for them. Oh, look, it's Dirk. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why he look mad? Okay, we should say what's up to Dirk. Um, 
but we're working right now. We're, we're, we're working. We're legit working. Uh, so it is on Sean to make sure everything gets up and running for Monday. And it's Friday. So we got work to do this weekend, y'all. We got plenty of things to do that we're going to have to get to. Not the paparazzi. I got to figure out how to lock these doors. Oh, we can lock them. Wait. Everyone but... Yeah, so the production crew can get in only. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so and I'm dead ass. I'm gonna blick her <laughs> out of existence. She's in the way. So what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna have um, no Sean. Sean wants to get a massage, but not right now. I'm gonna go ahead and call some people out, and we'll just do like an outing tonight. At maybe let's just go grab some drinks at a bar. Oh, you know what? I should have I should have went to the um Oh no, there's a DJ booth up here. Good. Bet we can party up here. A big bet. Cool. So, I don't know if it's even going to operate like a restaurant right now, but we got plenty of people. Stacy, who told you to put this wig on? Girl, the the lace is not bleached. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Sean, please stop with that. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to talk to Cash. So I'm gonna talk to him. Damn, I invited, all, like, hold on, who? That is crazy. I invite Lauren, and guess who show up with Lauren, y'all? Where, where was he? I seen him just a second ago. Chris. I did not invite Chris. I dead ass did not click his name. Is it because I invited Lauren? He feel like he gotta come? Yeah, y'all have to. We got to catch up on Lauren and Chris. We really do. Uh, All right, so I'm gonna talk to Cash Charles a little bit about work. So I'm gonna talk about interest with him. Um, we'll just talk about. We'll discuss some interest, and I want to just generally see if he is open um, to being a part of the production crew. So we're gonna ask him. Alfonso or Fania? Oh. He's Ooh. mad about something. Yannifeb. <laughs> Not him being like, okay, but are you kidding? I love to join the production crew. So he definitely just joined production crew. Good. Okay. Your attitude is not needed though, sir. So get it together. We don't have a DJ. Can we get one? Hire staff. We'll just hire a DJ. I think we can get a table. But I have a pretty big group. I don't know if I'm going to have enough space for everybody. Oh, they're just over here dancing. So I'm going to talk to Stacy. Girl, did you put a face mask on at this restaurant? You already got this wig on without bleaching the knots, y'all. Look at the knots on this wig. Please. No, seriously. We're going to embarrass my girl. Look at the knots on this wig. This is not your skin color. And then you're going to put on a face mask in the middle of the restaurant. Tell me. You don't give a damn about your personal image without telling me you don't give a damn about your personal image. I cannot. Let's get, let's order a round of drinks for everybody since we're here. Let's just order some drinks for everyone, for the group. Let's just get some wine or something. I don't know. Um, Pinot Blanc. Let's get that. And then we're going to talk to a few more people about getting on the production crew. I forgot her name, but she eating down with this bandana on. Not the Louis V bandana. All right, so we got a round of wine. I did not invite Duncan either. Okay, let's talk to Matias. I don't know him at all. Let's just do a cheerful introduction. Who is this? I love her wig. Oh my God, who is that? I don't know who, oh, it's Tahidia. She actually looks really good in a pink wig. <laughs> Wait, no, nah, hold up, because I know I'm not tripping, y'all. Look at this pink wig. Hold up, let me get it. Let me get a, a close up on, on her. What? Oh, she's giving what was supposed to have been gave, because period, stamped, stamped, like eat down. Oh yeah, because everybody can't pull off a pink wig now. You could fight with your mama about that one, but I'm positive everybody can't do that one. And that's on me. <laughs> All right. So we're drinking wine. Um, and we're about to meet. Oh, Matias. That's what I want to meet. 
Oh, everybody wants to chat with me. Okay. Which is fine. This is actually what I want. Like, everybody should want to chat with Sean because technically what we're doing here is like interviewing. We're interviewing these people for the production crew. So them wanting to talk to us is a good sign that they want these jobs. And we got plenty of roles, y'all. We have four or five more open roles. So we got to fill them before Monday. Um... I'm feeling like Matias is probably a good cameraman. I don't know his skills, but I'm going to ask him. He's fine, though. Like, Ma he is hot. I'm not going to even lie to you. Baby is attractive. Not Cash Charles dancing. <laughs> I guess it is a dance part. Okay, y'all are pissing me off. Y'all are pissing me off. Let us, let's go upstairs or something. Is there seating available? Wait, who, who is this? She got a mask on, too. Why everybody putting these masks on? Like, y'all are not at home. Oh, it's Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Get it, girl. Get it. Oh, it's Keon. <gasps> y'all. Oh, my God. This makes me miss university days hella bad. Look at Keon. He's still fine. <laughs> dag dag me. <laughs> it's so many people here, though. I just need to meet everybody. Okay, let's meet her, too. Let's just say what's up to all the people. I know Duncan is into security and we might need a security guard. So you know what I got to do with my sim self? I got to get her a disguise. I got to get my girl a disguise. I have to. I have to. Okay, so we're talking to Duncan. Hey, okay. I can't wait to turn this place up once I look at Shay, y'all. Look at, look at this. This is the thickest sim I've ever owned. I have never had a sim thicker than this woman. <laughs> she is so thick and bad as hell too, might I add. Extremely bad. All right. Okay, so I'm going to send... We're going to send Sean home. We'll go home for the day. We still have plenty of work to do, and we didn't make a lot of progress. So what we'll do is tomorrow... We got to get up early Saturday morning and get back to work because all we've been able to do is get Cash Charles on the team, which we knew Cash was going to hop on the team with us. Like, let's see. We got a, a first impression from him, too, I think. Um, Cash thinks that Sean is egocentric and Sean thinks Cash is annoying. <laughs> Cash is a little annoying, though. Not lie. So Sean is back from the restaurant again like i said we did not exactly finish our mission tonight we got started with work late this friday um so tomorrow is gonna just have to have to be a full work day for us and like i'm not really anticipating that we work a lot of saturday actually i lied we're probably gonna work plenty of saturdays let's put your pjs on floss this is Flossie's first night in her new space. Ooh, we got to get you into the gym. You're getting a little soggy, my girl. Um, But yeah, let's just get in the bed. It's bedtime. But yeah, this is our first night in our new crib, in our new spot. And yeah, I mean, we have to do what we got to do because, you know, life is life in. So... Anyway, we're going to go ahead and conclude the episode here. If you enjoyed the episode or are enjoying the series so far, make sure you like the video. Go ahead and drop a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Let me know what y'all think. I really want to know what y'all think so far. We're about to get into it. I know this first episode was a little bit light, but trust me, the, it's about to start rolling. It's about to start rolling. So next episode, we're going to be focused on getting the production crew together in preparation for Monday, which is our first day of filming. And yeah, uh, we're going to probably go over to Jordan's house. And I don't know if y'all know the tea on Jordan and Emiliano, but things are not looking so good in their household. I'll catch y'all up in the next episode. But anyway, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.